all you beautiful people out there. I am Mrs. Realistic and I thank you for joining me again today. All right, I have gotten many, many requests to check out Penitence by Wren featuring Molly McKenna. I don't think I've ever heard Molly McKenna before, but I was told that it's a friend of Wren's. Let's see what Merriam Webster has to say about this. Penitence, the action of feeling or showing sorrow and regret. Regret? Regret for having done wrong. Repentance. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Not only do I nod my head up and down to music and tell you what I think of it, but I'm also here to inform and educate you on the meaning of words. You're welcome. Okay, so without further ado, let's find out who Molly McKenna is and listen to Penitence. Lately, I think I was over time in my chest, beaten so. that went over my head. I couldn't understand what she was saying. Very lovely voice, very pretty voice, but there seems to be like this trend of adding R's to words that have no R's. It's like mumble rap, but it's mumble singing. And it seems to be popular, I don't know, within the past few years. I feel bad for saying that because her voice is quite pretty, but I don't have a clue what she said. Let's listen to it with the lyrics. So I apologize, guys, but I'm old and I don't quite understand this new fad trend singing style. Let's try again. Lately I think I was over time in my chest beaten so like the clousy color of them fading out, fading out. The heavy heart I carried went over your head and over mine. Okay, this is so much more helpful with the words. Quite lovely. Lately, I think I was over time. Am I just beaten so? Like the clouds, see color of them. Fading out, fading out. Oh, the heavy heart I carried went over your head and over mine. Okay, that's nice and uh, very helpful. the day she left like a prisoner etching markings on my skin with an old knife scratching Forget. you see i wanted the physical to match the psychological and yet no matter how hard i dug i still could not match that pain Regret. i longed for reasons i sung with demons i sat in a dark dusty room barely moving breathing Forget. i chewed through my own umbilical cord attached to her navel i wanted to be separate Wow, that piano is beautiful. It's kind of reminiscent of like Tori Amos style piano. And the spoken word that Ren does is lovely. It's uh, very different from what I've heard from him uh, up until now, which is mostly rap and singing and guitar. He has made some really cool lyrics in this song. I won't read the entire lyrics of this song, but 
that I chewed through my own umbilical cord attached to her navel, I wanted to be separate. So is he talking externally or in utero? as in he needs to be free from his mother? Or is this just a metaphor for escaping a codependent relationship? And I love how those words have been put in between the piano and the spoken word. I counted the days she left like a prisoner, etching markings on my skin with an old knife, scratching, and then it goes, forget regret. That's just like another really cool layer added to this song. Counting days since they left, instead of scratching lines into a tree on a deserted island, he's doing it in his own skin. Very interesting imagery there. As usual, Wren has a way with words, and this is no different. <laughs> I could stop crying. They say that the body is 70% water. I feel like I must have reduced mine by a considerable fraction. Newton's third theory states that for every action there must be an equal and opposite counter reaction. And so I retrace my steps and try to find reasons in the arms of my demons because I can't find healing if I can't find meaning in conundrum. Leaning on my dom nom, feelings try the news high, beaming when I hung from, ceilings wanna run from, demons that are living in my head and escape. Fate and disapparate, evaporate, evacuate and then activate. Fate, but it cut the brakes Now I'm driving my universe into a lake And the weight, weight of the world don't wait We make mistakes when it's all a state For goodness sake, a double take But I don't want to eat that cake I ruminate inside meaning To illuminate a dark mind I communicate without speaking And I've seen so much I went blind I, why, I, living a lie Living a lie with the lion inside Living a lie with the lion inside And my mind is hungry, it's hungry for my sanity My sanity, I, living a lie with the lion inside Living a lie with the lion inside of my mind is hungry and I don't know why Pressure drop, deep breath, time stops There are so many amazing lines there I wish that I could stop crying They say the body is 70% water I feel like they, I must have reduced mine by a considerable fraction Yes, dehydrating yourself through crying is probably a possibility But the really cool line that I loved is Newton's third theory states that for every action, there must be an equal and opposite counter reaction. And so I retraced my steps and try to find reasons in the arms of my demons because I can't find healing if I can't find meaning. So by going through this intense emotion and crying and pining away for somebody, there's got to be an equal and opposite counter reaction, right? So you're trying to find meaning there you're trying to find a way to heal but first you have to go through that process of grieving and that process of letting the emotion out because there's always got to be better days ahead so i would side with newton on this one and when he says the weight of the world don't wait we make mistakes when it's all at stake we always have the weight of the world on our shoulders at some point in our life right life is not about happiness all the time everybody has good days and almost everybody has really dark days there is always a an escape route if you use a bad day as an excuse it kind of reminds me of that show my 600 pound life and how they can never lose the weight because oh well you know we've been really stressed out i lost my job or my mom is sick or whatever the case may be and so they use that as an excuse to eat more food they need that comfort food. But your life is never going to be stress-free. And so in order for you to get something done, you have to basically bite the bullet and just go out and do it because nobody's going to change it for you. You're the one to change your circumstances. Unless you win the lottery or something, then I suppose that could change your circumstances. You know what I mean. 
I don't know why Pressure drop, deep breath, time stops A broken, etc, dot 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 Pressure drop, pressure drop, pressure drop I feel it consuming, I can't stop Dot the dot, the lines join the dots And I'm tying knots, then divide and multiply Square the root of pi, beat the puzzle I try to keep my mind focused on the line Pop scotch and pop rocks I take shots of teardrops When I drop a pill pop I find peace and time stops Wow, what a great line and paragraph to end that song on. Hopscotch and pop rocks. That kind of like reminds me of, you know, the good old days when you only had to worry about what game you were going to play that afternoon and how many pop rocks you can afford with your $2 allowance. Okay, I'm really old. That's how much I got for allowance every Friday when I was seven. Okay. And now, we have all of the stresses, like that awesome 21 Pilot song, Stressed Out, where they talk about, you know, wish we could turn back time to the good old days when the mama sang us to sleep, but now we're stressed out. We got to make money. We have uh, responsibilities and it's stress, stress, stress. But remember back in the good old days, we just got to sit with our mom and have bedtime stories and she'd sing us to sleep. As I've said before, youth is wasted on the young. If I could go back and truly enjoy that time and not realize how fleeting it was, I would do that in a second. So there you have it, folks. Ren and Molly McKenna, a beautiful song. I like the collaboration, her singing minus the extra R's. Just kidding. She has a very lovely angelic voice to go along with Ren's spoken word and his guitar and piano are always such a beautiful addition to his amazing rhymes and cadence. So thank you everybody who requested this one. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I look forward to going back and listening to it again. So if you like what I do, please don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up and a comment down below. And if you feel so inclined, drop me a super thanks or a donation in my link in the description below. Have a wonderful day, everybody. And as I always say, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.